I think it went very well, having been on two previous ones. I think it's improved dramatically, you know, and, and as it goes on, it seems to be getting better and better. I thought the pilgrimage today went really well. It was the first time that I've been on this York pilgrimage. Like I've been several times on the pilgrimages in Oxford, in honour of the Oxford martyrs. So it was fantastic to come on a pilgrimage today to celebrate um, St Margaret Kitherow of York. What do you think the attraction is for people to come on a pilgrimage such as this one? I think primarily the, the ability for local people here in York and across Yorkshire to take advantage of being able to celebrate one of the major English martyrs, one of the local York martyrs herself, Margaret Clitheroe, on this feast day. St Margaret Clitheroe was martyred for her Catholic faith on the 25th of March 1586. Convert from Anglicanism at the age of 18, she would hide priests in the Clitheroe family house in the Shambles in York, and Mass would be celebrated there in secret. It was for these crimes that St. Margaret was arrested. St. Margaret Clitheroe, Holy Martyrs of York, all Holy Martyrs of England and Wales. To prevent the names of other Catholics in York being exposed during her trial, and to protect her children from being forced to testify against her, she refused to enter a plea to the court. The punishment for this was to be crushed to death by having rocks piled on top of St. Margaret Clitheroe, and uh, it was near to this site that she actually uh, was martyred for the Catholic faith. And so maybe we just pause here a brief moment and remember the sacrifice of all of those who have... How do you think it went musically today? Very well. First time for the singers here doing Viennese music. Normally we always take the opportunity to sing rather older Renaissance and Baroque and polyphonic music, but we put a little of the joy of Mozart and the Viennese uh, today's service has been a real pleasure to be here. One of the joys about this particular day is that we have the music of the ages for the mass of the ages. I think pilgrimage is still, in a way, still very much part of people's heritage and history. Pilgrimages have been going on throughout the church for thousands of years, and they're very much an important part of Catholic and even Christian life. And I think when people see a pilgrimage organised, especially if it's been advertised or spoken about, people often tell good stories about pilgrimages. Some pilgrimages people tell about how they moan, about how long the walk was and how tired they got, but it doesn't stop people still wanting to come on a pilgrimage. Myself, being from York, as I say, I've got a great feeling for the martyrs, and we had a lot of martyrs in York. Um, I, I know a lot of people come from surrounding areas and other towns. Um, probably the history of York, anyway, and combined with the history of the church and the Latin Mass and the links, I would think that would draw people. I think as well, a lot of people, um also still care about the English saints and the heritage that is left in England. For example, the Oxford Martyrs, the Martyrs in York, Our Lady of Walsingham, Our Lady of Caversham, all these different sites where pilgrimages, especially with the Latin Mass Society, are organised. People know really in their hearts how much this is part of English history and that's something that still means a lot to them and something they do not want to be lost.
Jesus, the Holy Mother of God. 